hello guys so in this video I am going to explain you what is dynamic memory allocation and how to write a program using malloc function now malloc is a function which is used for dynamic memory allocation and dynamic memory allocation means allocating memory at runtime now before explaining you this program I'll just show you what exactly is dynamic memory allocation now this is a program on array and array as you know is used for static memory allocation and static means something which is fixed which remains the same and the size of the array in a program is also fixed and the size of the array in this program is 5 so this array can store 5 values and in case of static memory allocation memory is always allocated during compilation time and this is compilation time when the program is being compiled and at this time five contiguous blocks of memory space will be allocated to store five values because the size of the array here is five now if i run this program then i'll be allowed to enter five integer values and the space for storing these five integer values has already been allocated during compilation time now in case of this program which is made using the function malloc and is an example of dynamic memory allocation completely opposite will happen now in case of dynamic memory allocation memory is allocated during runtime and this is called runtime the program window is open the program is running so this is runtime now because memory is allocated during runtime we can specify the number of values we want to store so if i enter 4 then four contiguous memory locations will be allocated to store four integer values and i can enter four integer values here now if i close this program and run this program again and if this time i i want 10 integer values to be stored then i'll simply enter 10 and 10 contiguous memory locations will be allocated to store 10 integer values so this is dynamic memory allocation because memory is allocated during runtime we can always specify the number of values we want to enter and memory is dynamically allocated during runtime depending on the number of values we enter at runtime which was not possible using static memory allocation and now I'm going to explain you this program and the first thing you need to remember here is this stdlib.h header file because without this header file you won't be able to use this malloc function here I've just declared a pointer variable of type int named ptr and two simple integer variables this printf statement will just display a message to the user and this scanf statement will allow me to specify the number of values i want to store or the number of values for which i want memory to be allocated so if i run this program then i'm able to enter this value with the help of this scanf statement here I've used the malloc function and the syntax for malloc function is this p means pointer variable and the name of pointer variable here is ptr and data type is the type of value which you want to store so if you want to store value of type float then this should be float malloc is simply the name of the function specified size is 
the number of values for which you want the memory to be allocated so if I run this program and specify 7 here then it means that 7 will go here and memory for 7 integer variables will be allocated at runtime this size of is nothing but it tells this malloc function that how many bytes of memory will be required to store a value of type int now suppose this is float then this should also be float and in this case this size of will tell this function that how many bytes of memory will be required to store a value of type float now there could be a situation when there is not enough memory to allocate and in that case this malloc function will return null and in that case the value of ptr will become null and we can check for this case using this if statement if ptr equal to equal to null if this if statement becomes true then it means there is not enough memory and this printf statement will get executed and not enough memory will be printed this for loop will run n number of times so if the user enters 5 with the help of this scanf statement then this for loop will run 5 times from 0 1 2 3 till 4 and this scanf statement will simply allow me to enter values so i am able to enter these values 1 2 3 4 5 with the help of this scanf statement now i am going to explain you why i have written ptr plus i with this scanf statement now the first thing you need to know is that every memory location has an address so the memory which will be allocated with the help of this malloc function will also have an address and that address will be stored in pointer ptr so pointer ptr will have the address of memory location which will be allocated with the help of function malloc and writing ptr plus i with with the scanf statement simply means that the values which i will enter i want those values to be stored in that memory location now let's say with the help of this scanf statement i enter 3 which means that i want to store 3 integer values now the first time when this loop will run then the value of i will be equal to 0 now let's say the address of memory location allocated with the help of malloc function is 10010 now this address will be there in pointer ptr so 10010 plus i and the value of i is equal to 0 and this will be equal to 10010 now you should know that an integer takes 4 bytes of space in the memory and you can check this by using the size of so if I run this program then I get 4 as output which means that this computer takes 4 bytes of space to store an integer value and 4 bytes of space means memory locations from 1011 to 10014 so this is 4 byte bytes of memory 1 2 3 4 and this block of memory will be used to store the first integer value that will be entered using this scanf statement now the second time when this loop will run then this value of 
i will be incremented by one and it will be equal to one the value of ptr will be equal to one zero zero one zero plus the value of i is equal to one and one zero zero one zero plus one in this case will not be equal to one zero zero one one because this is not how address is calculated one zero zero one zero plus one will be equal to next empty adjacent memory location which in this case will be one zero zero one five so four bytes of memory space starting from one zero zero one five one zero zero one five to one zero zero one eight this memory block of four bytes will be used to store second integer value which will be entered using this scanf statement now the third time when this loop will run then the value of i will be equal to 2 the value of ptr will remain equal to 10010 plus the value of i is equal to 2 and 10010 plus 2 will be equal to 10019 and next four bytes of memory starting from 10019 will be used to store the third integer value entered using this scanf statement now the fourth time when this loop will run then the value of i will become equal to 3 and this condition will become false and this for loop will terminate and this is how this ptr plus i will work and we'll be able to store values at these memory locations first value will go in this memory location second in this one and third in this one and the address of this memory location is 10010 and memory is always represented or referred using its starting address and the starting address of this memory location is 10010 now this printf statement will print the stored values the values which we will enter using this scanf statement now you already know the meaning of this ptr plus one and if you are wondering what this asterisk sign means then here is the answer now if you know how to use pointers then you should also know that whenever you want to access some data or some value stored at a particular memory location using pointers then you use asterisk sign the first time when this loop will run then the value of ptr plus one will be equal to one zero zero one zero and asterisk one zero zero one zero will mean value stored at this memory location so if 4 is the first value i enter using this scanf statement then asterisk 10010 will mean data stored at this memory location which is 4 and it will be printed with the help of this printf statement now the second time this loop runs then the value of ptr plus 1 will be equal to 10015 and asterisk 10015 will mean value stored at this memory location and it will be printed using this printf statement so this is how this printf statement will work so this is the end of this program hope you understood the concept and thanks for watching